Rejoice as the new version of Windows is upon us. Let me show it to you. I got this email from Microsoft as you all know I am your favorite uh, Windows Insider, right? Introducing the new start menu for Windows 11. Launch your apps easily with our, our updated scrollable start menu. Experience a larger start menu with responsive sections and expand or collapse mobile device content using the new mobile device button next to the search box. <laughs> uh, what mobile device are we talking about? The Windows phone that you have ran into the ground? Uh, wh which one is it? Which one is it going to be? Uh, you, you surely are not talking about Windows tablets, are you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, they are selling all my, <laughs> they are so selling well. Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, so one of my friends always complained about how the Windows 11 start menu was empty. I guess they finally put some icons in there. Okay, good morning to you as well. Your recent activity in the uh, most used content in recall homepage. <laughs> I mean, who exactly asked for this? The management? I'm sure they did. Uh, I, I suppose the management is like uh, desperately searching for the problem. Yes, for the problem that will fit the solution in which they invested. AI, AI, AI. AI. Yeah, thank you, Satya. Learn more about recall homepage. Uh, excuse me if I will not do that. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. GIF expert in snipping tool. Okay, okay, that, that seems actually useful. Uh, new settings to move hardware indicators. What, what is this? The highly requested option. The highly requested option to reposition hardware indicators such as volume and brightness is now being rolled out under settings, system notifications, position of the on-screen pop-up and ah so now when I change the brightness it will no longer be on the middle of the screen but I can actually move it elsewhere okay okay no complaints personally I don't need but I can see that this is a good option that various people might want to uh, customize this is okay a uh, bigger clock with seconds now. Okay, now it features seconds. <laughs> uh, okay, oh my god. Um, mind you, I am a KDE user on Linux, so a customization of the user interface elements is like... Um, sort of like a human right. <laughs> uh, okay, now it has seconds. The new Windows operating system now features seconds. Copilot Notebooks, your productivity space. Meet Copilot Notebooks, a single focused space where you can bring together all the relevant sources, resources you need, including Copilot chat, files, pages, notes, and links. I'm gonna skip giving a comment on this one. Um, in all honesty, let me just grab something over here. This here is my computer. One of my computers, at least. The idea behind what a computer is, it is like a device that does my bidding. Not what Microsoft has decided. Me. I don't want my operating system to think instead of me. If I want some tool that will help me with my thinking process, this is something I'm going to install on my own. I'm, I have nothing against large language models. I think they have their place. It's just that my own operating system, which drives the entirety of my computer, the, the thing that I 
am putting all of my trust into that requires you know um there is a reason why i put trust into linux and not particularly into windows windows 11 tips and tricks accidentally left the caps lock on now we are going to disable it for you okay okay a, a lot more thinking instead of me did you know the calculator app can plot equations okay okay uh, I guess this is all there is to it from the new operating system. Uh, so, as I said, I mean, rejoice. <laughs> rejoice, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the new version of Windows is upon us. Let me know what you think about it. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Please give a like and subscribe. I can use a whole lot more of that on this channel. I, I really do. I really do.